Well, good day, all. I'm in a different location here at the property. I'm walking down our long walk because I'm just coming from my studio I use in the boathouse. And can you see Algernon Seagull out on the spitting rock? The tide is very, very, very high. So when we get to the end of the long walk, maybe I'll hop down there. So this is the long walk, which is sort of this middling little strip of lawn between our big stone wall that leads to the beach and then the uh, the uh, the lawn, which we actually call the lower lawn, but it's actually the, <laughs> the upper lawn in comparison to this. And these are not the lovely autumnal shades of a tree turning brown, but in fact, hubby was out here the other day. We're always trying to keep out the bush because to keep this walk open for us it takes a lot of hacking back and see how large these boulders are, which used to be so beautifully set before Hurricane Bob in uh, the 80s, which I've mentioned before. But anyways, we, uh, hubby was cutting along there, but this is the long walk, and I, uh, when I used the uh, studio in the boathouse, which I do sometimes, particularly more in the summer when it's a little bit warmer, and this time of the year it's even nicer, I will go there in the morning, get some work done, and now I'm just walking back to have my uh, early morning or mid-morning tea break. So here we're walking along. But you can see how the sun is setting differently now. How Doesn't it have that autumnal glow? So as we walk along this, the long walk, we're just above the beach. And it's, can you see how the beach is completely missing? <laughs> because the tide is so high. Because sometimes, you know, I film out by that big rock there, standing next to it and in the tall grass there. But all that grass is now under the sea. So yes, walking the long walk back. Oh, let's, while I walk the long walk, why don't we talk about the whole point of today's daily post, which is today's drawing. And today's drawing, which I will put up now, is the Inktober, and it is day seven. And it's called T for Two. And of course, I was inspired with this drawing and T for Two. Here, we'll stop here on the long walk uh, where the choke cherries are just starting to. Uh, getting ready to turn red, which the birds will love. And you can see Elton and Seagull in the background. This will be a good place to stop and uh, pop the picture up. So today's Inktober, day seven. There it is on the screen, T for two. And if you recall in yesterday's vlog, we were watching uh, the beach and uh, the snow egret flew by. Um, and I was commenting how I'm surprised that some of the snow egrets are still around. And that, that one in particular, at least one single one I see each morning and she flew by. So that inspired me to do the drawing which you see today, which is T for Two. I really want to have a lovely lady in a large Edwardian hat full of snowy egret feathers. Now, we won't uh, speculate or hopefully her guest, the snow egret, won't wonder too intently how she <laughs> has come by those feathers in her hat. But, um, and in this way, I love to do when I'm doing pen and inks like this, which have to be done fairly quickly because they're daily drawings. Um, I like to use a dark space, like to, to sort of just represent the top of her hat so that I can then use the negative aspect of erasing the feathers into being. So by erasing from the ink digitally, I was able to make the look of the feathers over her hat. And uh, I really like the ideas of the uh, sort of soft pinks and blues for the teapots in her outfit and giving the snowy egret a slightly pinkish cast. So. So I hope you enjoyed today's little drawing. And that is T for Two, day seven Inktober. Going onwards and upwards, gonna to try to keep doing daily drawings and daily short posts like this. Now I'm walking along the long walk. And we're just about at the end of the long walk here. See if you look back, we've, we've come a nice little rambling way. It meanders down, goes down, and then to the uh, railroad tracks that lead into the boathouse. But now we're opening up into the main path that I walk down each morning. I take you often where you can see my kayak is sitting. Oh, I think I think I see the oyster fish. I hear the oyster fisherman's boat. So maybe I'll stand up here and we'll watch him coming in and then we'll take the video from there and we'll go down and I'll show you how high the tide is. And here comes the one of the fishermen coming in, the oyster fisherman. And you can see how high the tide is. So let's head down here. 
So yesterday the tide had been going out, I think, when I was down here, but here's an example of how high our tide can become. So there's Algernon on this bidding rock. And you can see how easy and close it is for my kayak on high tide days. Well, we get high tide every day, but because the moon has been full and uh, now it's waning, we get this really high tide. And can you see here the big rock wall that is part of our property there? Normally I walk along the front of that boulder down the shore to the dock. And there you can see the uh, oyster fishermen just past the dock. So if we were down in the dock right now, the water would be right up to us. And I'm not sure if you can see, I hope you can, especially since today I've already talked about the fact that we did the art with the snowy egret. Do you see who's down on that part of the beach? And I just came from there because she's down in front of the, the beach in front of the uh, my boathouse studio. That's where we just walked along the long walk. So. You can see how the beach is just gone, but isn't it lovely to hear that the waves? And see how full, how buried that rock is. And so you can see how the uh, beach grass is just sticking out of the top. So in warmer weather, although I'm still doing it now, I will uh, just have a quick little, actually it's not quick, I take my time, and I snorkel across the top of that seagrass because there's so many amazing things to see. And looking back, see how the beach is, our beach is just completely gone because the tide is up. You see the movement. There's a gull. And there's a gull out on the flat rock even though it's just, oh that's not, not even the flat rock, that's another larger boulder. The flat rock is well underwater. And see how deep the spitting rock is now? See Algernon is on top. Can you see the movements in the ripples? And since we're here, I wonder how close we can get. Oh, there goes the snow egret. And I think that was the same one who flew past the other day, which inspired today's drawing. Well, there you go. A walk from the studio talking about my latest Inktober drawing, looking at high tide and watching the snowy egret. I hope the uh, these little daily vlogs won't be too boring but I'm kind of excited about just taking a, taking my new little camera with me like for example I had it with me this morning in the studio so I just grabbed it Oop, there's some fish going down there and uh, gave you a little uh, synopsis of today's drawing and uh, yes well thank you for joining me today on this short vlog featuring my drawing a tea for two with our lovely lady and the snowy egret and I and uh, Algernon Siegel here say good day to you and I hope your day is as sunny and as lovely as mine is turning out to be. I love this time of the year, the sun, the blue skies, but the weather's still cool, but then intermittently we'll get a day of rain, which is lovely to be in the studio. And there goes a cormorant across the blue sky. All right. Well, thank you for joining me for today's daily vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked my artwork. And uh, onward and upwards, daily drawings in Inktober. All right. Remember, stay creative. Cheers.